So this bad boy came in the mail today, and this should fix all of the lighting problems. Ooh. That's nice. Nice little box. I guess it opens this way. Whew. That is nice. Got ourselves a manual. We got ourselves the actual light. All right, guys, we finally got some good lighting. Yeah, I know that that section over there is really bright and that the lights you could kind of see, but hey, at least you could kind of see the RGB lights now. The other nice thing is we've gone from autofocus to manual focus, so now you won't have a seizure watching me go in and out of focus. But anyways, hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and in this tutorial, we're gonna be making a very simple health bar in Unity's UI system. Wait, JRP77, you, you said you were gonna do Blender tutorials every other week. And yes, I did say that, but the more and more I've looked into it, it, the more and more I've realized I just don't enjoy doing blender tutorials. I may be doing one here and there is alright, but I just really have not enjoyed making these blender modifier tutorials, even though they've done decent. I've just never really enjoyed making these blender tutorials like I have been with making these Unity tutorials. And plus right now I'm using Unity a whole lot more than I'm using Blender because I'm working on my awesome game that's gonna be coming out soon. I say soon, but it's really coming out like next summer. Anyways, today we are making a health bar. So this one's gonna be part one, and next week episode is going to be part two and this one's going to be simple next one's going to be a little bit more complex but they're both making a health bar so tune in next week for that one too i've designed this so that you can use it in literally any project that you want whether it be a first person shooter game an rpg a moba whatever you could use this in anything you wanted to and the nice thing is is that it's actually really simple so without further ado let's just hop on the pc and let's get right into it before we get started, I have a zip file that I will leave a download link in the description or I'll probably pop the text up on the screen or something that has the two scripts that we need in order for this to work. It's not big at all, it's like 702 bytes and so I'm just going to click on it to download. And you notice that we have two scripts here, we have deal damage and player health. Now deal damage is going to be a script where we actually deal the damage to the player and this player health is basically just a script that stores a variable so that we can access it anywhere. And I've tried to do these scripts like you would do for a regular game where you'd have one script that deals damage and one script that takes the damage. So I'm just going to click extract all and I'm just going to put this on my desktop and as these two scripts are right here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select both of these scripts and drag them into our project. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty game object so that we can run our deal damage script on there. The way we're going to be doing this is we're going to be setting it up to where whenever we click a button it deals damage because I don't want to have to deal with collisions or anything like that. So we're going to do that we have to have an empty object that we have the script on so I'm just going to go up to game object create empty. And I'm going to change the name of this to underscore GM because this is going to be where I put all of my game management scripts. And I'm just going to put the deal damage script on there. Now you'll notice that there's no variables at all, but if we open up the script real quick, you can actually see a little bit of what's going on here. So literally all we have in this class is just one function and it's just a public function that sends the damage over to the player health script. And if we look at the player health script, you can see all we have is a variable for health and this public void that takes damage and that also takes in a damage integer and then it just subtracts the damage from the health. So now that I have this deal damage script on the game manager object, I'm gonna put the player health on the main camera. Now normally I wouldn't do this, but it's just another object that we can use and I really don't want to use another object. If we go back to look at the deal damage script, you'll notice that it's looking to find a game object with the tag of player. So in order for this to find the component, we actually have to tag our player object. So I'm going to go to our main camera. I'm going to change this to player. Now we just need to give our player a health. So I'm just going to give him five. And now we need to set up our script so that we can actually take damage. So I'm going to go up to game object, UI, and I'm going to create a button. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little crosshairs right here. And I'm going to hold shift and alt. And I'm going to put it at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. I'm just going to change the text to take damage. Now we need to set up this button so that it actually does something. So what we do is we go to the button and we go to on click this menu down here on the button script and we click on the plus button so that this adds a new function to run. And I'm gonna change this to editor and runtime just so that we can run this in our actual game. And I'm gonna go to object and I'm going to go to the scene and I'm gonna select the game management object. Then we're just gonna go to this no function drop down. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go to the deal damage script and I'm gonna go find the send damage function. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna set the damage to one just so that we can pass in a pretty even number. And if we play our scene now, you'll notice that if we click the button, you'll notice at the very bottom left hand corner of the screen, 
it takes away one from the health. Great, so now we have a way to take damage. Let's go ahead and add in our health bar. And this is actually a lot easier than people may think. There's actually built in function that we can use very simply in Unity. I'm just gonna go up to game object, UI, slider. Now what this does is this makes a slider object that we can move around, adjust the value, but we're actually going to be using this as a very basic health bar. So first of all, let's just position it. I'm going to click on this crosshairs right here. I'm going to hold shift and alt. I'm going to pin it to the top and I'm gonna move it down on the Y by negative 20, just so that it kind of offsets off the roof of the screen. I'm then gonna change the width to 300. I'm gonna change the height to 50. So now what we're gonna do is we notice we have this giant ball right here where we used to be able to click and drag, but we don't want to be able to do that. So I'm going to go over to the slider and I'm gonna delete the handle slide area. I'm just gonna right click and delete that. And that will delete it from our object. Now that was just a handle, but if we actually go into game, even though we have no function on this, we can actually give ourselves more health if we wanted to. By just clicking on this edge right here and dragging it, we could give ourselves more health, which I guess could be a kind of a cool mechanic, but for our purposes, we don't want that. So I'm gonna exit out and I'm gonna go over to our slider script and I'm gonna change interactable to false. Now this will prevent us from being able to add health back by dragging the slider. Now we actually need to change one last thing and that is how our slider is gonna be set up. A slider runs off of two sets of values. It runs off of a minimum value and a maximum value. So we need to go ahead and set that. And you can see that it's right down here in our script. For minimum value, we're gonna set this to zero just because that's a very easy number. And then for maximum value, we're gonna set this to our health. So on our player, we gave him five health. So on the slider script, we are going to make max health five. Now, because in our script, we are working with integers, we don't want this to be float because it's gonna make it just counterintuitive. So in Unity, we're just gonna click whole numbers as true. And really, that's all we need to do. We already have a health bar set up. Now we just need to write the script for it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna right click in the project window and I'm going to create a C-sharp script and I'm just gonna call this simple health bar. Double click to open this in Visual Studio code and I'm just gonna delete all the functions on the inside. So first thing we need to do is we need to reference our slider and unfortunately we can't do this in the standard Unity engine. So we need to go to the very top of the script and we need to add another line to use a different package. So I'm just gonna type in using Unity engine.ui. And what this is going to do is it's going to reference the UI class that's in the Unity scripting language and this is going to allow us to make variables for sliders, images, etc. At this I'm just gonna go down to our class and I'm gonna create some variables the first one we need to make is we need to make a reference to our slider so that we can control values of it based off of our health script so I'm gonna create a public slider I'm just gonna call this health bar now we also need a reference to our player health script so I'm just gonna type in player health and I'm just gonna make one letter lowercase just so that it's a little bit easier for us to see it. Now what we need to do is we need to assign this. Now we don't wanna do it in the inspector because sometimes you might have more than one player. And so what we want to do is we want to do this using a function that I used earlier called find game object with tag. So we're gonna go down a couple of lines and we're gonna create a void start. This is going to be the function that runs on the very first frame that the script is enabled. And I'm just gonna type in player health is equal to game object dot find game object with tag, I'm just gonna do parentheses and a quotation mark, player with a capital P because it is actually case sensitive. Then what we're gonna say is we're gonna say dot get component and we're gonna say player health. Okay, so what this line of code does is it just finds a game object in the scene that has the tag of player. And then from that, it sets the player health variable to that component that is on that object. And that's a really useful line of code that you can use in a lot of different scenarios. Now let's get on to actually making the health bar. And because we don't wanna to have to individually call the health bar to update every so often, we're just gonna do this in the update function. So I'm gonna get down a couple lines and create update function. And in here, we have one line of code that will run this. Health bar dot value is equal to player health dot health. And that's really all there is to it. So what we can do is we can just save our script and we can hop back into Unity. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag this onto our game manager object. Then when we click on our game manager, you'll notice that we have this slider component right here. So we're just gonna drag our slider into that spot. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit play. And you notice that our health bar is almost all the way filled up. Now what we could do is we could go into the slider and we're just gonna delete the background because I find it really annoying and it often gets in the way, especially in this scenario. So I'm just gonna delete it. And now when we play our scene, you'll notice that every time we hit the take damage button, the health bar decreases. 
And that's really all there is to it. It's that simple to make a simple health bar in Unity. And that's basically it. It's really that easy to make a health bar in Unity's UI system. And again, this concept is very flexible, but it's not that complicated. Next week's episode, I hope to make this a little bit more complicated and a bit more specific. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this video sucked, then you know what to do. But if it didn't, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch as well as our community Discord server. All those links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.